Call 811 or your local utility company to request marking utilities three days before to ensure that the area to be dug does not contain any live electrical cables, gas, water, sprinkler, communication cables, or any other utilities. Only use the machine in daylight or in well-lit conditions. Never operate the machine after dark. Never operate the machine in icy conditions when there is severe weather or lightning. Always wear hearing protection, eye protection, and appropriate footwear. Do not wear any loose or hanging clothing or jewelry that could become entangled in the trencher or debris auger. If you need to shut off the engine quickly, press the e-stop on the handle. Both the engine switch and the e-stop must be on for the engine to run. Test the e-stop function at each use. Be aware of possible pinch points. The engine and muffler become hot during use. Do not touch the muffler or engine until completely cooled. Open trenches can be a trip and fall hazard. Rope off the construction area and keep bystanders away from the open trench. After using the trencher, clean the unit thoroughly from soil and other debris. Shut off fuel before loading. Strap the unit down on a trailer or pickup bed securely. Keep hands and feet well away from the trencher chain and debris auger. Position the auger where the trench is to be dug. Open the fuel tap by moving the fuel on-off lever fully to the right. If starting the engine from cold, set the choke on by moving the choke lever fully to the left. When restarting a warm engine, the choke is usually not required. However, if the engine is cooled to a degree, partial choke may be required. Turn the engine on-off switch clockwise to the I position. Ensure the E-stop switch on the operator's panel is out. Set the throttle approximately one-fourth from the idle position by moving the throttle lever. Do not start the engine at full throttle. Taking a firm hold of the control handle with one hand, grasp the recoil starter handle with the other. Pull the recoil starter until engine resistance is felt, then let the starter rope return. Taking care not to pull the starter's rope fully out, pull the starter handle briskly. Repeat until the engine starts. Once the engine starts, Gradually set the choke lever to the off position by moving it to the right. Tip the unit back and move the depth control lever to the desired depth. The first notch yields approximately an 8 inch depth, the second 12 inches, and the third 18 inches. Increase the engine throttle to full. Lower the unit until the trencher chain contacts the ground. The trencher will be moving backwards as the trench progresses. Start slow and keep a firm grasp of the unit. Allow the unit to dig, pulling upward on the handle only slightly. The unit will dig down naturally due to the balance of the machine. Do not try to drag the machine backwards. When the trencher reaches full depth, push down on the handlebar, raising the chain and move the trencher backwards about 6 inches and start the downward digging again. Operate the trencher with a stable shoulder width stance always keeping feet well clear of the teeth and side auger. Repeat the downward digging and move back until the trench is finished. To stop the engine, set the throttle to idle and turn the engine on-off switch counterclockwise to the O position. Turn the fuel off. Let the unit cool before transporting. 